welcome to this Business Central launch event about what's new in ALGO for GitHub on delivery and deployment. My name is Freddy Christensen. I'm a technical evangelist with Microsoft in Copenhagen. And together with me, I have... My name is Sebastian, and I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. And I recently joined the team late December last year. We are happy for that. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is dependency install mode which actually is a requirement that came to us from a partner. He actually created a PR on ALGO and said he would like functionality like this. And we digged into that and found out there was a better way to do that. But now the feature is there and it determines, or it's a, it's a setting that you set on an environment that determines how dependencies are handled at deploy time. Uh, originally, if you were trying to deploy an app and the dependencies were not there, uh, not included, then uh, the app would like fail installation. Uh, what we do now is we try to install the dependency from, uh, from App Source if, if you've decided that you want dependencies either upgraded or installed. Um, let's have a quick look at a video. Now, looking at this repository, we have like this run, where we have a multi-project repo and a deploy mode over here to uh, the BCLE environment here. And we can see that, that we have one app to deploy, that's version 1.24 here, and some dependencies that are uh, from an older version. So dependencies to upgrade. The upgrade here comes from the dependency install mode set to upgrade, meaning that if these apps are installed in a prior version, they'll be upgraded to the latest version. I don't have any dependencies on app source apps here, but if I had, they will also be installed and handled in the same way. So if there were any updates to that, they'll be included in that one. Um, as we can see here, these were already installed in the same version, meaning that the deployment is, is very fast, and the reason for this is that we are using incremental builds to, to this one. Let's have a look at how the setting looks. It is in our GitHub ALGO settings file. Under deploy to BCLE, we'll have the dependency install mode set to upgrade. With that, next topic is about including test apps during deployment. We have two features we want to support. Number one is deploying test apps, uh, and number two is automatically running tests. For this presentation, we have implemented the first version. Um, and all you have to do is prepare your online environment, which should be a sandbox environment, and then enable this feature in ALGO settings. This is under the deploy to structure, which you have used many times before. Uh, for your deployments to environments. On top of that, uh, we now also have the option to exclude apps by ID when you deploy. So in case you want to test only a specific app, you can now do that. Uh, and let's run a demo showing how this works. Here I have a simple repository, uh, a single project repository with two apps uh, and two test apps. What I want to do is deploy app one alongside the two test apps. So app one, app one.test, and app one.performance test. I want to exclude app two. In my repository settings, in GitHub ELGO settings.json, I now define two new things in my deploy to structure. I define include test apps in sandbox environment as true, and exclude app IDs, which is an array. And in here, I put the ID of app2. Now, when I run my uh, publish to environment, this will automatically deploy the test apps and exclude uh, app2. To show how this looks, I will go to my environment. And here I have my list of extensions. We'll see here that app1 was deployed and app1.test was deployed. However, the performance test app was not deployed. Well, that is intentional. The performance test app depends on a test library, which is not available as an app source app, and that automatically gets picked up during deployment and excluded. So if you depend on something 
that is not in App Source Gallery, it will not be included. This also works if you have a custom deployment script. If this setting is enabled, then all your test apps will be passed to your deployment script, and you simply have to handle dependency installation on your own. In this next topic, I want to show you how we can deploy artifacts from a pull request. Uh, and this was a request from a partner. We now have a new option for deploying pull request changes directly to an online environment. This is useful for quick testing, uh, in case you need to test in your online environment uh, before you complete your PR with a code review and merge it into your main branch. For now, this is a manual process where you will use the publish to environment workflow, give it a pull request ID instead of a version, and then click run workflow. Later on, we want to investigate how we can do this automatically in such a way that every time you push a new change to a PR, then those changes will automatically flow into your online environment. As you can see in the little box to your right, all you have to do is give it a pull request ID um, written as PR underscore ID. And I want to demo this. So here I have a simple PR with a simple change. In the address bar, I can see that this uh, PR, or here I can see that it has uh, ID 28. So what I do is I go to, um, oh, sorry, here, to publish to environment. I run the workflow. Instead of selecting current or latest, like you might normally do, I simply say PR underscore 28. I select my test environment, which I want to deploy to, and then I click on workflow. And that will now deploy changes from that PR. Um, I have a PR build ready here for that PR. Um, and you can see here, it points to last known good build. Well, that is because if uh, incremental builds is enabled, then in order to save space uh, and storage, we will only publish artifacts built in, or apps built in this specific PR. What the deployment will do is it will grab the remaining apps, which were not built inside this PR from the last known good build and deploy those as well. And this is done to save storage for you, which is costly if you have um, a private repository. Normally, pull request uh, artifacts are only valid for one day. So you might run into an issue where you run your publish to environment using a PR, where you get an error saying, that your artifacts have expired. This is normal. Uh, artifacts will expire after one day using normal settings, and we encourage you to keep settings this way. If your artifacts have expired, all you have to do is rerun the pull request build, and when that is done, you can run your publish to environment again. Thanks for watching this video, and see you again next time. Thank you.